Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Vintage Habits Podcast. We got a little bit of a different setup here. Recording at my boy Jeremiah's crib, so y'all know what it is, man. Look, past two months, been kind of rough. I've been moving. I got graduation come up, so we had to halt the podcast for a minute, but we are slowly getting back into it, you feel me? So, yeah, man, let's get into this shit, bro. What's the first topic at hand? I don't even know what to fucking talk about. I don't even know what to speak on. This is just... I don't really either. I haven't... <laughs> Jay, really stop. I, really I haven't... Don't. It feels weird. I'm excited to do, get back into the podcast, though, man. Before we start this episode, I almost forgot. Uh, shout out the people down at Vintage Jordy. Go cop your jewelry. Uh, 15% off site-wide using code VHP. Should be down here somewhere. Link will be in the bio as well. And also, as you guys know, some of you do know, some of you don't know, New drops every single Friday. New merch drops. Link will also be down in the bio. Summer's coming up, so we're going to have some fire-ass pieces coming out. Very original, and we're in the Vintage Habits tee right now. Y'all go cop. Um, But, yeah, let's get into the business, man. So, fucking, fuck, a year. <laughs> it's been a year since the podcast. It's been a long we time. We started our first podcast drop. I looked today. I think our first podcast dropped April 23rd. And it's been a whole year. Yeah, really past a year and some change. So I don't even I don't even know what to like looking back on like the past episodes. Yeah, I mean it's been it's been twelve months. Yeah, that shit, it's been a long ass time. Facts. Like we started this motherfucker at the beginning of literally the beginning of senior year, and now we're graduating. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. No, we started it junior year. Yeah. Yeah, I say I'm saying like. Hold like, on, I might fuck it up a little bit. What I'm saying, saying I'm saying like um. Like actual like full school year, type shit. Yeah, that's it's, crazy. It's been it's been our whole senior year we were podcasting. Mm-hmm. They and basically watched us grow. Yeah, that's crazy, man. Yeah, we graduate in like seven days. Like seven fucking days, man. High school, high school experience. Um, no, it's crazy, man. Cause like, I. It was just so much support, and it still is, you know, like like what we say, try to say every episode is just like, appreciate y'all for the support for real, but like, this shit is crazy, like, within a span of a year, you know, we built a fan base, mm-hmm. I mean, nigga, we had stickers out, we have a whole shop, a whole, like, it's just, it's just fucking crazy, we blown up on TikTok, it's just been, like, just a crazy ass experience to only think within a year and then we have so much going on i mean we're on season three of a podcast man we had crazy ass guests man like our season one season two those were great ass seasons man we had crazy ass fucking guests and we're gonna have more this season you know just just you know not saying anything like that but it was just a mad experience man and like a lot of people are telling me, we're telling me, and still are telling me. They're like, "Yo, Jay, you're JB. You're the only one to start this shit," you know. Mm-hmm. And so that's just mad, mad inspiring. But um, yeah, it's been a year, man. Uh, graduating, exciting. Looking forward to it. Um, ready to be done with this shit. Yes, indeed, indeed. I'm ready to just leave. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm ready to get out of here, man. I finished the sales program, so shit. Shit yeah. fire. I'm, I'm, t- I'm tired of being out of high school. <laughs> I really am. It's just, it's just depressing at this point. I hate being there. Yeah. It really is. It's yeah. just depressing. Like, it just, it ain't been good. Right. It ain't been good. It's been, it's been, I've learned a lot in these four years. I've been influenced a lot in these four years, but I've also lost a lot in these four yeah, years. Yeah, we have, we've had a big... It was some crazy ass losses, man. You know something that I actually I'm glad you brought that up. Because something I've actually been trying to introduce into the podcast more is mental health cuz I feel like you know, Vintage Habits we have fun, we do our shit, we talk about conspiracy theories, fucking every fucking thing that y'all like, right? But one thing we don't talk about is mental health, especially in guys. You know? Yeah. Like it if go, you like go, guys mental health is so much different from females. Yeah. And most people most females don't understand that. You know like Guys, like females, you know, I was I was talking to uh, you about this. Shout out my wife. Um, you know, when girls have a problem, you know, they can talk to their friends. Usually they can talk to their people, uh, family, friends, whoever it may be, you know. But usually 
most of the time, I would say what, like eighty percent of guys, eighty percent of guys. Not even really eighty, but probably about a good ninety. Ninety percent of guys, you know, very few guys can have the shit that they're going through and express it. You know, most guys like to keep things to themselves because I think it's just the way you grow up, you know? It's just like, no, it's just, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, it's for a me, sign, it's like it's a, a tough enough of, thing, you it's know? A, it's a sign of weakness whenever you explain and like feelings and how you feel to somebody. Right. It's a sign of weakness. But it's a sign same, of weakness, but also like a tough enough thing. Like when I was like a kid, bro, like, I mean, all guys have it. Like you fall, you cry. Your your dad, your male, the male figure in your life, this is like get up, you know, toughen up type shit. And so for me, I really took that as like, you know, damn, when it comes to like emotions and things I've been dealing with, you know, I have to really keep personally keep that to myself, you know, like in the past year, like we said, we lost a lot, you know, and that was the main thing. Right. Um, and so a lot of that shit, I mean, you know, you keep to yourself and it, it for some people. It's it's terrible, right? But for some people, it's like it either breaks you or builds you. If you re- truly think about it, some people yeah. break and they they just sit in the darkness forever. And then some people, I feel like it builds them. It's a hard place to get out yeah. of, though. Yeah, it's a hard place to to actually see the light when you're coming from, because you know you get comfortable being down there in the dark. It's almost like it's a place that you, you find hard to leave because it becomes so comfortable because you don't want to be hurt anymore. Right, yeah. Especially with you, man. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, yeah, man, that's a serious issue that's not talked about a lot. Especially, um, I feel like, in the podcast realm. And especially on here, you know, that's something that's not something the yeah. topic will usually cover. Yeah. But it's important, you know, to keep keep yourself healthy. Yeah. You know, keep mentally, yourself, physically, yeah. spiritually, keep you know. Keep yourself up. Yeah, you know, you know motivate yourself. The shit's best hard. You Facts, man. But, Facts. You know. If you watching out there, man, I, you know, if you listening, you know, so keep you keep your head up. Man. Of, it's a lot of it's a lot of shit going on in today's world. Right. Where, you know, you got to think twice about doing regular shit, but that's life, man. You know, that's it's life. life. It's life now, but it's come to the point to where it's like you know, you gotta you gotta take the crookets with the straights. Mm-hmm. You can't you can't sit back and dwell on the past. You kind of let it let go, but in today's in, uh, in today's time, it's more of like you know. You 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 have to grow up fast, or you'll be eaten by the world. Right. That's really the way it is. But the only thing is that, you know, it, it's different nowadays. You know, it it, it, it was it, it 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 just it, it went from a point to where it was like you know. Kids had a, a childhood moment, had a childhood spot. They had they had a time to you know to be a kid, but nowadays it's more of like if you don't grow up or adapt to your surroundings as quick as everybody else, you are gonna get ate up. Yeah, you gonna get ate up, and I mean that's just, that's just real as it's gonna get. I mean, you gotta you gotta you gotta mold yourself. To be the best figure that you can And right. if you don't And mm-hmm. you come up anything short I'm not saying that it's gonna particularly be bad for you But You know You You not You not sharp until your best ability right. You wanna be You wanna be as good as you can As what's, good as something as you can What's A quote That you live by That like keeps you going in your hard times It cause It would take pressure to make diamonds Why does that stick out to you? Why does Why does that one specifically Because speak? At the end of the day, no, how, no matter how much pressure you go through, no, how, no matter how much pain you go through, no matter how much shit you do or how many things you do for others, it's always going to come back to you in the end. But at the same time, no, don't ever forget that no matter how much you pain you going through or how much hurt you got in your life right now, you can still shine from it. X, that's respectable, bro. I think one that stuck out, stood out, has stood out to me for a minute now is probably... Um, Man, there's so many good ones, but I guess it's not how hard it's not about how hard you can get hit, but how many was how, how, you can take. how many hits you can take. Yeah. That one stood out to me because like I felt like there was this one point in my life where like everything was going wrong. You know, everything was going wrong. Like, you know, stuff I don't even want to get into, but like a bunch of stuff was going on. And um I became kind of insensitive 
and like ignorant to things that I usually would be because I was like, like let, I'm gonna use an example to let's say this is extensive, like this wouldn't happen, but uh, let's say like I had a bad week, right? I just dead ass be like, like if somebody told me some bad news, I it would just it would, just, I didn't even feel it anymore, you know. If someone I was like my dog died, I'd just be like, damn, like it's, it's it like it way. it hit me like that, bro, and like. I don't know when I heard that quote man it was just like it helped me like get through those bad weeks you know what I mean and like still be who I like seeing like you said seeing the positive out of things you know it's just like when you get hurt hard it's so hard to see the Nobody that it's gonna know. end good you yeah. know what I mean you always think it's gonna end bad trust me it's gonna end good but like in those moments you never know you never know. I never really try and put. I never really, I never really say that. Okay, yeah, you know, it's going. This is gonna have a good outcome because everything. I've been in a lot of situations where situations where you know, a lot of shit didn't go. You know, the way I wanted to go, it didn't go in my hand. Right. But at the end of the day, I try and keep a little bit of hope. Like even if I'm losing, I'm gonna keep a little bit of hope. Like you know, we gonna push through it. Cause I mean, you sitting there being negative about it. What's it gonna do? It's not right. gonna fix nothing. You feel me? It, and it's hard to keep that mindset dealing with a lot of shit that we go through in today's world. You know, losses, people dying, just being black, really. Like, it's just, it's a lot of shit where you have to be like, okay, like, I know it's bad. I know I'm not seeing it through. And I know the the, the bridge ain't golden right now. But, hey, if I put some polish and wipe that motherfucker down, it'll be gold after right. all. Like you said, man, being, especially being black, you know, being African-American, being black in the United States is a struggle that... I mean, everybody knows about, you know, right. but like, I mean, it's just like, in our communities, it's not talked about, especially, you know, it's already, we're already guys, you know, mm -hmm. we're already males, so it's already really not talked about, mm -hmm. but then in the black community, as a male, mm -hmm. mental health and the stuff that you have to go through is definitely to not talk about. That's because right. mental health is a lot different. It's not more of mental health, but for a lot of guys in the black community, it's more just like anger. It's anger. It's anger, and it's a lot of frustration that you right. can't let go because it's something that you grew up in. When you always around it, it's like, okay. And you bro, never I really get a chance to learn how to healthy, health, healthily express that anger. Yeah, you just, you kind of, you flash out. Yeah. And that's, and I've seen a lot of my homies and a lot of people I don't know and go bad to a lot of shit. Yeah, you know, a lot of homies that I can't call friends. It's no like, more, but like it, it, they flash out. They flash out. It happened. You feel me? But it, you gotta, you gotta learn. You gotta learn to find a way for you to deal with that frustration. That way, you got an open window and an open. You know point. what helped me? Meditation, bro. Meditation helped me a lot. Cause like, I know you can experience this, but when you get angry, bro, like, there's a difference between angry in the moment and angry internally, mm -hmm. right? But when you get angry in the moment, it's like you just want to react, right? Mm -hmm. But when you're angry internally, bro, it's like you ha you have to think about it. But for me, at least, when I'm angry internally, bro, I'm not thinking straight. Almost, right. it's like you can't. It's like a blindfold on you. Right. It's just like all you can feel is that emotion, and you can't think about anything else. Yeah. You know, and so one thing that really helped me was meditation. Like, I'd be like super mad about some shit, right? And I'd be like, man, fuck it. Let me just try to, like, sit down, cool off for a minute. Play some music, man. It's like, for me at least, meditation was like, it completely cleared my mind. Like, it was like, no matter if you're mad, happy, neutral, like, meditation, like, clears it. Right. You know? And it, like, for me, it was like, damn, like. I should start using this shit more often, but I mean, I stopped it eventually. But um, that's some shit that helped me. Um, but for just, you, just in general, just for me, it's like I I ain't never really found no outlet. I never really had an outlet, mm -hmm. you know. And it's a lot of internal aggression. Like for me, it's like you know, I've had a lot of things to be mad about. I've right. had a lot of aggression on my back. I've had a lot of weight on my shoulders for a long time. So it's hard to say, but it's the truth. The only outlet for me is 
it would be to see my way off this earth and that right. to, you know cuz to that time come god forbid it don't come soon that would be the yeah. time where i feel like my anger will be released because you know you can't you can't afflict for as much damage as this world can put on you as much happiness as you can put out yes there are people out in the world that can do that but it's not a lot it's not a lot and it take a lot because you know it's just you go through a lot of shit you do and and eventually like you know you can roll with the punches for a long time but eventually you get hit with that door stop and when you do it's hard to get that motherfucker out the way sometimes yeah for sure man i've been wanting to do this for a minute now but what i've been wanting been thinking about doing is just like you know how it just happens we get the orders and the clothes i've been thinking about taking like some of those commissions and just giving it to a um like suicide awareness uh program mm-hmm. matter of fact that's what we're gonna do all right bang 10 percent. how much should it be should it be hefty five ten i'll say ten ten percent of all vintage habit sales are as officially of now are going to we'll figure out some organization but we're going to donate it to a teen suicide um suicidal group suicidal organization um because i think that's important no it is and I've been wanting to do that for a minute, actually. Like, just donate to something to have, like, you know, I mean, you know, no, even though we're making money, I still right. like to support causes and right. things. So 10% of all f- vintage habits, um, sales from merch go to uh, some sort of, right. we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna figure out the charity, the organization right. that we want. But, um, nah, dead ass, that's, that's, that's real shit. Like, it's just so much that's not spoken on the mental mental aspect it's not um even for females man you know they have their stuff and that's that's something that's something else that's that's something but females are unique creatures right Right. you gotta understand that you know females are a whole lot different from males agreed it took me a minute to realize that too like my teacher said Sometimes you're looking for support, and sometimes you're looking for a resolution. Guys tend to find more of a resolution, and girls look for more of support. Right. They're not looking for you to find the right answer, but they're looking for you to stick with them to be on their side. Males is more of, we trying to solve the problem, fix the problem, and end the problem. But every time, it's not always down for that answer. Right. And sometimes, you know, that's what guys need. They need that, that support. And and we don't get a lot of that shit. We always trying to find, you know, how to stop the shit, how to let the shit go, how to let it, you know, you know, hit the hit the sand and let it be done. Right. But sometimes, you know, that's why females and males are, you know, the way they're supposed to be. It's supposed to be one supporting the other. But that's that's a that's a real common, you know, a real common way to look at it. Like that that's how they do. They they support each other. That's what I can say. That that's what I could say. Females have better than a lot of males. They can support each other. Right. That's one thing that I can't. That's males. A lot of males are solo. Yeah. They. It's not even solo, but it's more of a pride thing. Yeah. It's more of like like you know, solo internally is what right. I mean. Yeah. Like I wouldn't. I re, You know. You don't. You don't really favor in trying to get help from somebody else. More females. They got each other back regardless. It don't fucking matter whether if it's good or bad or stupid or dumb or good and right. smart. It don't matter. They gonna they gonna stick with each other. Dudes will be quick to point the blade on the other person, and a lot of dudes don't think a lot of dudes think that way because they feel like at the moment this is gonna solve the problem, but in the end, is it gonna support me? Right. If you ain't yeah, got you no don't support, think about the long, yeah. If you're That's not, true. You know, if you ain't got the support, it's true, man. You good as dead. That's true. Yeah, that's facts, bro. But yeah, we're gonna we gonna find something to to donate to for y'all, man. Um, hopefully we get some more episodes in. Sure. Uh, shit, you wanna end it up? We can. Yeah, okay. hopefully we get some more episodes in. Uh, for this season three that I'm super hyped about because we are back. You know, um, I think this gonna probably it's probably our one serious episode for the season. Or maybe if y'all want more of these topics, yeah, we can then we can keep go. We can go into depth. But um, you know, it was some it was an important topic to talk about. Important topic to hit. You know, and something that we recognize and do try to support mm-hmm. is mental health. You know, mm-hmm. so 
are going to be trying to support and rather um make sure you guys go follow us on all the pat- platforms you can watch us on spotify apple music pandora um shit what's the other one uh what? something radio well i heart radio, I heart radio. fuck yeah <laughs> i heart radio um you can listen to us on all those platforms um also, make sure to go follow us on Instagram at Vintage Habits. Go follow us on TikTok at Vintage Indeed. Habits. Uh, go follow my boy Jeremiah's ads. And go yeah. follow my ads um, at JP the Artist. Be down we now. got some more stuff coming in. I got something called Vintage Habits Vlogs that I'm going to start um, also on the channel. So, y'all be in tune for that. And like I said before, I don't know if I said it in the beginning, but like I said, new merch drop every Friday. Y'all be ready for this one. It's going to be super, super fire. Uh, We love y'all, and we will see y'all in the next episode.